Welcome, language adventurers, to an exciting journey through the annals of English grammar. Today, we'll be your trusty guides as we venture into the captivating realm of the past tense. Picture yourself standing at the threshold of a time machine, ready to embark on an exhilarating expedition through the mists of yesteryear. Your passport? a mastery of the past tense forms that will allow you to navigate the twists and turns of English language history with confidence and flair. In this comprehensive lesson, we'll be your companions as we explore three essential past tense forms, the simple past, the past perfect, and the past continuous. Each of these tenses is a key that will unlock a different door in the grand mansion of the English language past. By the end of our journey, you'll be able to wield these keys with the skill and finesse of a true language time traveler, effortlessly expressing past actions, events, and states. So, buckle up your time travel belts, set your grammar compasses to the past, and let's embark on this thrilling adventure together. Part 1. The Simple Past Tense. Stepping into Completed Moments. Our first stop on this journey through time is the simple past tense, a realm where completed actions and events reside, forever frozen in a specific moment of the past. To navigate this terrain, we use the past form of the verb, which for regular verbs usually means adding ed to the base form. It's like affixing a stamp in your language passport, marking the moment you visited that particular point in time. For example, when we say, they visited their grandparents last weekend, or she wrote a letter to her friend yesterday, we're using the simple past tense to describe actions that are complete and situated at a definite moment in the past. These actions are like snapshots in your travel album, capturing the essence of a particular experience. But the simple past is not without its irregularities. Just as some destinations have unexpected customs or quirks, irregular verbs have their own unique past forms that you'll need to learn separately. Take the verb go, for instance. In the simple past, it transforms into went, as in, he went to the grocery store this morning. These irregular verbs are like the hidden gems of the past tense world, a little more challenging to find, but all the more rewarding when you master them. As you navigate the simple past tense, be on the lookout for time expressions such as yesterday, last week, two days ago, or specific dates. These are the signposts that will help you orient yourself in the timeline of your language journey, ensuring that you always know exactly when you are in the grand scheme of the past. Part two, the past perfect tense, delving into the depths of yesterday. As we continue our journey through the past, we come across a mysterious door that leads us even further back in time. This is the realm of the past perfect tense, where actions that occurred before other past actions reside. It's like discovering a hidden room within the mansion of the past, filled with the secrets of yesteryear. To unlock the past perfect tense, we combine the past tense of the verb to have, had, with the past participle of the main verb. It's a bit like using a special key to open an antique lock. The combination of these two elements grants us access to the deepest recesses of the past. Consider the sentence, by the time they arrived at the party, the cake had been cut. Here, the past perfect tense had been cut describes an action that took place before another past action arrived. It's as if we're peeling back the layers of time, discovering the events that led up to a particular moment in the past. And just like the simple past, the past perfect tense has its own set of time expressions that act as markers on your journey. Phrases like by the time, before, and already are the signposts that indicate the sequence of events in the past, helping you navigate the complex web of actions and reactions that make up the tapestry of language. 
Part 3. The Past. Continuous Tense. Exploring the Unfolding Past. The final stop on our journey through the past tense is the past continuous tense. A realm where actions and states are caught in the midst of unfolding, like scenes from a movie reel. This tense is the key to describing the background against which other past actions take place the stage upon which the drama of language unfolds. To enter the world of the past continuous, we combine the past tense of the verb to be, was where, with the present participle, ing form of the main verb. It's like focusing the lens of your language camera, bringing the ongoing action into sharp relief while blurring the background. For example, when we say, the children were playing in the backyard when it started to rain. We're using the past continuous tense. We're playing to describe an action that was in progress when another event, started to rain, occurred. It's like capturing a moment in time, freezing the action in place so that we can examine it more closely. And just as a movie reel needs a projector to bring the images to life, the past continuous tense often works in tandem with the simple past to create a dynamic, engaging narrative. By weaving these two tenses together, we can create a rich, textured language experience that transports our listeners back in time, immersing them in the unfolding story of the past. Part 4. Navigating the Pitfalls of the Past Of course, no journey through the past tense is without its challenges. Just as a time traveler must be careful not to disrupt the delicate balance of history, language learners must navigate the pitfalls and irregularities of the past tense with care and precision. One common mistake is mixing up the simple past and past perfect tenses, using one when the other is called for. To avoid this, Keep in mind that the simple past is for completed actions at a specific point in time, while the past perfect is for actions that happened before another past action. It's like keeping your timeline straight, ensuring that each event is situated in its proper place. Another potential pitfall is forgetting to use the correct form of the verb to be, was, where, in the past continuous tense. This is like forgetting to adjust your lens when taking a picture. The image may be blurry or out of focus, but with a little practice, you'll learn to get it just right. And let's not forget the irregular verbs. These tricky shapeshifters can be a stumbling block for many language learners, but with patience and persistence, you'll learn to navigate their unique past forms with ease. It's all part of the grand adventure of language learning. And now, intrepid language adventurers, it's time to put your time travel skills to the test. Using the past tense forms we've explored today, craft a short paragraph about a memorable experience from your own past. Challenge yourself to use at least one example of each tense, the simple past, the past perfect, and the past continuous, to create a rich, engaging narrative that transports your listeners back in time. As you weave your tale, don't hesitate to ask questions or share your insights about using these tenses. Remember, every great time traveler relies on their fellow adventurers for guidance and support. Congratulations, language explorers. You've successfully navigated the twists and turns of the past tense, mastering the simple past, the past perfect, and the past continuous forms. With these powerful tools in your linguistic arsenal, you're now ready to embark on new adventures in the grand mansion of the English language, past. As you continue your journey, remember the lessons we've learned today. Use the simple past for completed actions at a specific point in time, the past perfect for actions that happened before another past action, and the past continuous for ongoing actions or states in the past. By wielding these tenses with skill and precision, you'll be able to paint vivid pictures of yesterday, transporting your listeners back in time and engaging them in the rich tapestry of language. Welcome friends to explore grammar's past.
so much more simple past perfect to past content you as well view past tense forms set the scene languages time machine moments clear captured right past and present in our sight simple past actions done a moment's fix one by one rose unknown make it clear time stamps drawing near past tense forms set the scene languages time machine Actions flow, scenes unfold.